Welcome back from the break. I'm Alex Clow with CTV Sports bringing you the latest in Colorado State Athletics. The Colorado State football team had a decent run against the number one football team in the SEC, Alabama. CSU lost 41 to 23 on Saturday in Tuscaloosa. The Rams had 391 yards of total offense and Alabama had 487. QB Nick Stevens had a great game as he threw for 247 yards and two touchdowns. Stevens also had two interceptions. The game was off to a slow start there in the first quarter as the Rams trailed 14 to zero, but that was what most people expected. True freshman Warren Jackson was able to get his first career touchdown before the end of the half, which I'm sure he was very excited to have his first touchdown against Alabama. In the opening of the second half, CSU turned over the ball and Alabama took advantage of that. Alabama was able to score two touchdowns, bringing the score 38 to, 38 to 10 late in the fourth quarter. Jackson caught a three-yard pass from Stevens in the end zone, bringing the final score to 41 to 23. The Colorado State's 23 points were the most scored by a non-Power 5 team against Alabama since 2007. Now the Rams have a nice break this week before they head into Mountain West Conference play at Hawaii on September 30th. The Colorado State volleyball team had another great weekend in the second CSU tournament. The team walked away with two sweeps, or with two sweeps and a loss. The first two sweeps were against Albany and Xavier. The big loss was against uh, was against Colorado on Saturday night, who is currently ranked 25th. Roughly 4,700 Ram fans came to support the team, but CSU fell 3-2. Sonia Cheesemick was a key player in the game as she had 16 kills and 3 blocks. Brianna Runnels and Jasmine Hanna also added 13 and 12 kills, respectfully. The Rams won the first two sets, but CSU's defense was able to put a stop to the Rams. The Rams held the third the Rams held the third set all the way to 21 to 20, but the Buffs went on a 5 to 1 scoring run and there was no coming back for the Rams. The Rams were clearly struggling there in that last two sets as they fell to a .200 hitting percentage. The Rams went went 10 and 2 in the preseason and will begin conference play this Thursday against New Mexico at 7 p.m. in Moby Arena. The Colorado State soccer team fell 3 to 2 against Kansas State in extra time on Sunday. K-State was able to score two goals in the first 31 minutes of the game, but those were the only goals they were able to get for the rest of regulation. CSU's Beth P Plentel took a penalty kick for the Rams and beat, beat, uh, beat the keeper to the lower left. This brought the score to 2-1, to one, and the Rams continued to fight in the second half. And Hannah Gurdon passed the ball to Maddie Rodriguez, and she fired a shot, bringing the score to a tie. In the 95th minute, K-State's Brooklyn ends got the third and final goal of the game. The Rams will open up conference play this Friday at Air Force at 7 p.m. For more sport updates, follow the CTV 11 YouTube page and don't go away because Kara Coles is up next with entertainment.